Hello and welcome, my dear students of class 10th. In this video, I am going to show you an online SQL portal where you will be able to fire all your SQL queries. So, let's get started. In your browser, write Pisa SQL Editor. Once you will click on enter, the very first link will navigate you to the particular website. Now, you are required to click here on Start MySQL Online Free. Once you will click on it, the editor will appear in front of you. Here, we will fire all our SQL queries. First of all, we will write the syntax to create a database. And what is the syntax? Create database database name. Create database demo db. Now use demo db. This is the mandatory statement to be fired after creating the database. And now you will fire the query to create table. What is the syntax to create table? Create table table name. I'll give it a name details. Here I will write all the attributes along with the data type. And if I am writing the data type where care, so I am supposed to give it the memory space too. Class is again a where care, so I am giving it the memory space, then the section, where care, the memory space, fee balance, integer. So there is no need to write the memory space. By writing this statement, we are telling the editor, okay, you are making a table, creating a table where the attributes are serial number, admission number, name, class, section, B balance and the data types are also written with them. Now we are supposed to enter data inside the table. So the syntax to enter data inside the table is insert into table name. Insert into table name is details. Now you will write serial number, then the admission number, then the name, then the class, section, fee balance. So all the attributes in the sequence, then you will write values, it's a keyword. Now in the another bracket, you are supposed to provide the values to these attributes. So, yes. And whenever you are providing the where care, so you are supposed to enter the data in the double quotes. So I have made double quotes, then I am writing the class section and now finally I will write the fee balance. Right? By writing this particular statement, we are telling the editor, okay, you are like inserting the data inside the table. Now I am copying this particular statement and I will paste it many times. Why I am doing so? Because I want to insert many data inside the table. Just I will change the values. Okay. So I am changing the serial number first. Then I will change the admission numbers. Right. After this, I'll change the names. Yes. Now I'll change the sections too. After this, I'll change the fee balance.
right? Now I write the syntax to print the data which is inserted inside the table in this output console. So I'll write select asterisk from table name. Table name is detail. Then I'll put the semicolon. Now I'll run these queries. Now see the output will be coming once there is the success, right? See the data is inserted. Now we will fire few more queries where we will be arranging the data in the format which is ascending order or descending order. So for that we are supposed to write select asterisk from table name order by order by is a keyword which arranges the data in a sequence okay admission number ascending right or descending so i'll write both the syntax then you will be able to see the difference right now i'll run the queries first of all the original table will be printed then the table will be printed where admission number will be arranged in descending order and then in ascending order. So, the original table. Now, the admission number are arranged in descending order. Look here. And after that, in ascending order. Right? After these queries, we will be firing few more queries in which we will be finding the minimum, maximum and the count. So, we will write select min of fee balance right from table name table name is details after this we'll copy this query and then we'll paste it we'll just change this keyword which is max again we'll paste it we'll change it to count here we will be writing the admission number, right? Now we will print these queries again. So, now look here, minimum, maximum and the count. The minimum fee balance, the maximum fee balance and count. How many data is inserted inside the table? So, 5. Now we will look into the queries where we will be finding the relationship between tables. So, First of all, we will create one more table. So, you already know the syntax. Create table, table name. I am giving it a name which is transport. Now, I will be writing the fields inside this particular table. So, I am having admission number. Then, I will write transport and uh, transport will again be integer yes now insert into table name then we will write the attributes admission number transport values Values will be 1, then admission number, I will copy it from here, right? Then I will write the balance, then I will copy this statement and then I will paste it many times, right? And now I'll change the values as we did in the previous table. Right? I'll copy the admission number. Then I'll copy the admission number again. I'll change the transport fee. Yeah. Now we will be writing the syntax to print the table. Copying the statement. I'm pasting it over here. Just I am changing the table name. I am running the queries now. 
now look inside the output console the table has been printed over here now we will write the syntax to get the relational queries done now we will be writing the syntax to create a relationship between two tables where we will be having the concept of the primary key and the foreign key right so i'll write the select asterisk from table names so details comma transport where we will be comparing the primary key of first table to the similar key the common key from the another table and we'll call it as foreign key as i have told you in the online classes too this primary key is the physical concept where we are declaring a key or attribute as a primary key but yes this foreign key is just a concept physically foreign key doesn't exist so i'll write details dot admission number equals to transport dot admission number why i am writing the table names uh, with the um, attribute because otherwise the editor will not be able to identify which admission number is equal to which admission number right now i'll print the queries and we will be having only three data here 1 3 and 5 where admission number is same so it print generally prints the intersection of uh, two tables right we are also having more uh, join queries where we are finding the relationship with um, different tables in table 1 table 2 all the data of table 1 few data of table 2 all the data of table 2 few data of table 1 so these kind of queries are also there but yes in your course this intersection kind of query is uh, only there so it finds the relationship where these things are equal otherwise it is not Uh, like bringing the that data which is um, not relevant to this particular condition right so uh, this online portal will give you a platform where you will be able to fire all your queries and you can practice it by uh, using just your internet it um, this website runs on the mobile phone tablet the laptop even the on the desktop so you will be able to fire your queries or practice your queries soon you will be getting your um the practical uh, schedule for your um, cbse practicals so be prepared for that and if you find any query reach us we are there to solve that till then take care bye bye i'll see you soon